We're here at the Ray Dom booth. Check this out. It says MSBS 5.56 millimeter modular small arm system. All right, what do we have here? Uh, here we have the newest rifle that will be used by Polish military. Okay. This is a very late prototype of this, uh, of this rifle. They are under testing now. Actually, both of these rifles have over 20,000 rounds each shot already. Uh, the rifle is a part of the modular weapon system that we are developing for the, for the Polish Army. This is a short stroke oper piston operating system. The rifle is completely ambidextrous with magazine release and bolt release on both sides of the, of the rifle. Nice. Uh, the charging handle is non-reciprocating, but it can work as a forward assist because it disconnects from the bolt carrier at the very end of the movement. So until the bolt is in full battery, you can use it as a as a forward assist. Very nice. The stock is uh, adjustable with adjustable check pins. It's folding. You can shoot with folded stock if the need arises to do to do so. Did you say you can adjust the cheek piece up yeah, and down? I will show you oh, okay. the other rifle we have because this stock has an older design okay. but the final design is on this one. I see. I will, I will show it to you. This chip is adjusted like that. Oh, straight up. Because so straight you up. can so you can adjust it, but also you can change the oh, angle wow, that, that is you want nice. to have it. That is smart. And actually, it holds in place under shooting. And also, you can adjust the length. I like that. The rifle has already on the both sides. There is a port for quick detach sling attachment for one point sling to use for one point sling, or you can use a two point sling here. Plus, then you need to have some provision for the front mounting. Uh, the rifle is designed in the way that it can be configured to eject both to the right side, like this here, or to the left side. To do the change, what is needed to done is the brass deflector and this uh, ejection port, the port cover must be switched in place and then the bolt must be uh, must be turned 100 degrees that can be done with the field strip you don't need any additional any additional parts to change uh, to change the ejection pattern just just those actually the uh, deflector and the cover are not uh, needed for the weapon to function so you can have them both removed and have the ejection port on both sides and you can install then the bolt uh, any way you want at every field strip of the rifle. Wow, that is very smart. That's a smart design. What's the uh, rifling twist rate on this barrel? The twist rate of this barrel for now is one in nine inches. Okay. It's called hammer forged barrel. Nice. And uh, the rifling uh, is specified by Polish military because it's considered by them as the uh, universal rifling that allows use both uh, M193 uh, ammo and uh, SS109 ammo with uh, 62 grain bullets. Actually, uh, our forces use a 62 grain bullets, but they want ability to use a 55 grain bullets in the rifles. Okay. Here is also a grenade launcher that was developed for this as a part of the project. The grenade launcher is opening to the, to the, side. To the left side. No. Uh, and uh, here the window is to allow manually pushing up in oh. case of the spring of the spring failure. Okay. So this is this is the configuration with the with the grenade launcher. It's part of the uh, future soldier project. Oh, okay. I noticed it seems like it has almost all the great things about modern rifles in it. Yeah. The only thing I didn't notice is 
Can you change the barrel out to different yes, calibers? Yes, yes, we can change the barrel. Oh, you out. can! Wow. Yes, wow. and uh, actually there is only one tool needed, okay. and there is no need for the torquing tool to wow. do that. Of course, it's not a quick change barrel like in machine gun. Yeah, I don't think anyone would need to. Easy to change. Yeah. We now we go in the second stage of the project, and the second stage of the project is about the Borpa rifle. This is the the mock-up of the Borpa rifle designs. It will take most of the internal parts that came with the standard rifle. What is very interesting in this Borpa uh, rifle from the use point of view? Here, the magazine release will be here. So, the soldier will not need to have an additional move to remove the magazine, to strip the magazine from the rifle. He just it's more traditional, actually. Yeah, yes. push the magazine drops, then he goes with his magazine, as way he is using the rifle, goes with the magazine, and then here it will bolt release that will allow the release the bolt. There, oh, okay. here, will be the secondary magazine release mechanism that also can be used in this uh, in this place. And in the second second stage of this project, there will be development of four versions of the Balpa rifle and three additional versions of the classic rifle. All both rifles would be in four versions: standard rifle, short barrel version for both, the increased accuracy, let's say DMR version, and automatic rifle or like we call it uh, hand machine gun. <laughs> so it will be, it will be, uh, I think, equivalent of, uh, for example, infantry automatic rifle used by U.S. Marine Corps. Wow! So Magazine-fed uh, machine gun. Is, is this going to be marketed to uh, the American market in the future? Yeah, uh, all of the all of these rifles will be a civilian version, mm -hmm. also possible, but it took uh, at least three years. Sure. But, yeah. sure. but of course, uh, there are the import uh, restrictions. The new laws coming. Yeah, there uh, might be some problems. Say, so it's hard to hard to tell how it will work out in the future. But yes, yeah. the civilian legal versions are in in plan. Well, I can tell you. The ergonomics and the features on this, this would sell great here. That is awesome. Thank you. So here's a closer look at the MSBS from Poland. Check that out. Probably one of the most ambidextrous rifles I've seen at the show. Everything can be switched around on this. The ejection, the charging handle, the fire selector, Bolt release, mag release, everything is ambidextrous on this gun. 